Hello and welcome back. Now, in our part five, we talked about the fact that PLR is a number of different kinds of leverage depending on how you want to use it. Teaching, product, bonus, tools. And we talked about membership leverage. And that's really where we want to focus on in this video. Now, in order to create your own membership site where people are going to be able to actually get content on a regular basis, there's a really simple way to do it and then there's a way for you to do it with software. I'm going to explain the simple way to do your membership in this video. Now for purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use WordPress and the reason we're going to use WordPress, it's fairly easy to get a site put up and then fairly easy to customize. So if you're going to start from scratch, even if you don't know a lot about WordPress, starting with WordPress is going to be a great way to be able to create even this membership that we're talking about here. Now you'll notice here that there is a setting in WordPress. If we go down the dashboard in the settings area and we go to the reading area and there's a button here that says discourage search engines from indexing this site. What that means is that the pages when you create them will not show up in, in search engines so people won't be able to find them from outside. And so what you want to do here is you want to then start creating this membership site in a way so that people cannot just search for the content and then find it. That's really going to be the starting point in creating this membership. Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to create new posts and we create a new post and we're going to create one post for every month. So we might say this is August of 2016 and this is going to be the content and what we're going to do here is we're just going to put a link in here. We're going to put a link in here that says here. Now this is really simple, but you're going to be delivering the content based on what you promise. Here is your August content. Right? Again, no frills, no fluff. It's going to be simple for the buyer and simple for you. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to link to the August content. Now, obviously, this is not going to be showing up in the search engines. And the other thing, too, is even though this is going to be the title of your post, so that people can't guess it, you want to make sure that your URL is unique. And so you might add in something there that is hard to guess. Right? So then people won't necessarily be able to go in and guess your URL. Now what we need to do is we need to add to this. We need to put a link here. And whatever your content is, wherever your content is hosted, if you have your content hosted in Google Drive, if you have it hosted in um, uh, Microsoft OneDrive, all you're going to do is to create a link here to that actual content. You create insert link and you're going to link to that content here. The only way people are going to be able to get that link is if they've come to that to this page. So uh, unless someone is inside your membership giving away your content, um, it's it's going to be fairly secure. Now there are ways and there are software programs and even WordPress plugins that will secure this content, right? But but if you're just trying to set up a membership that is simple to deliver, this is going to be the content. This is where they're going to actually get it. We're going to click publish. And so now this content actually we didn't create a we didn't create a link. I'm just going to put in here google.com just so we'll have a live link. And click update. Okay, so now if we go and view this post it's going to say here's your August content and they're going to click that link and they're going to be taken to the download link that you give them. So now that's really the first part of this process. And so what we're going to do is that every month we're going to make sure that our customer actually gets this link that we create for them. And we're going to do that through our autoresponder. Now I'm going to go into get response right now. And I'm going to create a brand new campaign. And I'm going to say monthly content. Right? We're going to create a monthly content. We're going to create the campaign. Actually, they want it differently. We're going to call that maybe something unique. 
Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create autoresponders. So we don't want to send broadcast emails. We want to send autoresponders. So we're going to create an autoresponder here so that the day they sign up, the day they become part of our list, they're going to get an email immediately. Right? So we're going to say this is day one of the membership. We're going to save that and publish, and then we're going to write our uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and create our email. We're gonna call this day one of the membership. Okay, this is gonna appear in our list of messages. That's the way Get Response does it. This is what the customer is gonna see. Day one of the membership. We're gonna click save. We're gonna get, go to the next step. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep a very simple template, right? I'm going to go start from scratch. If I want to use one of those templates there, I can. If I want it to look, want it to look good. But again, what we're trying to do here is we're just trying to make sure the customer gets their content. Now I'm going to go ahead here and get response. I'm going to eliminate all of this. I'm going to eliminate a lot of this for now. I'm going to send them a personal message, so I'm going to personalize this and get response. I'm going to send that to their first name, and I'm going to say thanks for signing up. Here's your August content. So what I'm going to do then <clears throat> is I'm going to actually go and get that link. Now remember, the only way they're going to be able to get this link is if they get inside of your membership. So if, if your content is being shared around, it's probably going to be being shared by someone who's buying it. right? So for the most part, you, you, you don't have to worry so much about <clears throat> uh, people being able to get inside of here. Again, people are paying for this and if they choose to start sharing it, I mean, that's... I mean that, that's something you're not necessarily going to be able to present prevent fully. So what we're going to do is we're going to then link to this content, and so that everybody that signs up day one, they're going to get this content. All right. So now we have our message. Um, now, for the sake of your autoresponder, you do want to make sure that you make sure your plain text email is going to read the same. Right? Let's see. I don't like that per month. I don't like that so much. I'm just going to copy this then. And we're going to put this inside of the plain text box also. Right, so there's our plain text. In case your your user has plain text uh, email, I'm going to get rid of this image box. We don't really want that. And so they're going to get this. Everybody that signs up, that ends up buying the product, they're going to get that on month one. We're just going to go to step one, the next step. And once we click next step, we actually have what we need in order to have this message sent to people when they sign up. We're just going to make sure it publishes. And then we'll have our first membership uh, content delivered. Now, what we need to do for every month is we need to create a new message and we need to create a new post. So create a new post, new message. And what happens is when people join, they'll actually get the content on the day that they actually sign up as opposed to getting it right away. Now, they will not see the content. You have to make sure that they cannot guess the URL. But it's a very simple way of being able to deliver the content to people on a routine basis. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.